Another reconciliation technique is finding duplicates, knowing where there are duplicates in your data. A, a cool way of identifying duplicates is just to use conditional format. But another way is to use a formula. And again, if you, if you look at what I'm going to do here, how do you know whether something is a duplicate? How do you know whether something is a duplicate? You need to check and see if it's duplicated here. As in, oh, this, is it duplicated? You, you ask equals to. I'm going to do a quick formula here to find out whether it's duplicated, just like you have to the right. If something is duplicated, it's going to appear more than once. So what I'm going to do here is simply say count if All right. So count if. What am I counting? This is my range. This whole data is my range. And the criteria for this particular row is I want to count this guy in this range. So how many times did he appear in that range? You will see two. So, so know what I did. I just said count if this list and how many times did this person appear? And then I drag it down. Now, anywhere you see more than one, it basically means it's a duplicate. Now, you can even add to that and say, put in your formula, you say, okay, if, if whatever it is you've counted is greater than one, if whatever it is you've counted is greater than one, then identify it as a duplicate. And if not, just give me blank. Blank in Excel is double quote, double quote. Then you close your bracket and enter. Then you see duplicate and you drag down to the end. And now you can see the duplicated values showing. So that's the formula. Count if. Now there are many other formulas you can use, different techniques for reconciliation. But at the end of the day, a reconciliation is simply the value in this table. Are you also in that table? And that's it. So that's all about reconciliation. Thanks for watching another training video from Deep Brown Consulting. See you in the next video.